I spent three years of my life and $55,000 on an economics and finance degree, but I've learned more listening to podcasts for free than I did my entire bachelor's degree. But there's something even more life-changing than listening to podcasts, which I'll talk about a bit later on. But this whole channel is all about self-education and how it can be more efficient and effective than the formal education system. And there are numerous ways on how you can essentially educate yourself. So watching documentaries, watching YouTube videos, going to networking events and conferences and reading books. But I don't actually read many books. I read something like one book every two months. Author Simon Sinek was being interviewed on the Diary of a CEO podcast and Stephen Bartlett, the host, asked Simon, with every genius, there's almost always a dark side. What is your dark side? And what Simon said next was really interesting. I'm extremely well read. And the reality is I've written more books than I've read. I just, I love the idea of reading. I, I don't, I can't read. I don't read. I learn by listening and talking. So Simon Sinek, similar to me, learns from listening and talking. So listening to podcasts, meeting people face to face, going to networking events. I feel it's important to not be pressured into feeling like you have to read books to be educated. I think it's so important to choose your form of self-education. So I listen to podcasts almost every day. For example, I listen to the Diary of a CEO for general personal development advice, the future podcast with Chris Doe for marketing and business advice, Neil Patel's podcast, Marketing School. It's almost like I have the world's most renowned industry leaders as my board of directors advising me on specific areas of my life. And you'll notice with all the biggest podcasts, the production quality is on point from the audio recording to the video recording to the content itself. And that's why software such as Riverside is important when creating a podcast to make sure the audience is paying attention to the actual content and not being distracted distracted by poor video or audio quality because you could get away with poor video or audio quality five or ten years ago but not today in 2023 and I mentioned earlier that consuming podcasts is one level of learning but if you want to take it to the next level then hosting podcasts and actually interviewing people takes self-education to the next level because you move from passive learning to active learning because you're actually engaging with the person you're talking to it essentially gives you a front row seat to your interviewee and it's just a great way of networking too. The main benefit to listening to podcasts is self-education. It's my single most powerful personal development hack. It's completely transformed my life. I can't emphasize this enough. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for podcasts. But the main benefit to starting a podcast is meeting people one to five years ahead of me. And this is the second most powerful personal development hack. It's one of the reasons why I started this very YouTube channel because I met a group of business owners that inspired me and motivated me and so I wanted to to inspire and motivate others at scale. And so I started my YouTube channel. And another hack to networking is to make sure that the conversations are recorded with Riverside and have a transcription that follows each person's conversations. So you could go back and reread what you talked about and what you learned, just to make sure that the studying process is that bit more efficient. So Riverside have very kindly sponsored this video, but I've been using Riverside for the best part of a year and paying for it with my own money. I genuinely love their platform. So Riverside is basically the easiest way for you and your team to record, edit, and share professional grade video content and podcasts from anywhere in the world. If you do wanna try Riverside for free, I've dropped a link and my discount code in the description below. So I'm doing a lot more podcasts these days and Riverside is what I'm using if I am hosting the podcast because Riverside make it super easy when you don't have experience hosting a podcast because I'm not the most experienced podcast hoster. You only need to send a link to a guest and nothing else. And one suggestion I would recommend is going into the settings and changing the video recording from 720p to 4k. It'll slow down the uploading and processing, but going from 720 to 4k is worth the extra wait time, at least in my opinion. It's also super easy to transcribe your podcast. So Riverside's AI transcriber will convert your audio to text word for word, and it can transcribe in over 100 different languages. And when you're ready to edit your podcast episode, you can browse the recording via transcription 
transcription and you can edit your video and audio content just by deleting text in the transcripts. And all this makes it incredibly easy to essentially edit your own content. And then you've got audio captions on Riverside are a great feature too, because it's very likely that a large percent of your audience are non-native speakers. So the audio captions will help with increasing audience retention for the podcast, because the more easily understood the podcast is, the longer your listeners are going to consume your podcast. Riverside will also turn your recording highlights into short form videos for platforms such as TikTok, Instagram Reels, or Facebook videos without extra effort or time. So the artificial intelligence will basically do the heavy lifting. And that's actually one of my favorite ways of consuming podcasts. I listen to Joe Rogan podcasts quite a lot, but if you type into YouTube search Joe Rogan clips, you essentially get the golden nuggets from each podcast in 60 second bite sized chunks. So you don't actually have to listen to the full two to three hour episode. So Riverside is good not just for podcasts, but in my self-development case, it's good for recording meetings with other people or for content creators who want to improve their process of post-production. So Riverside isn't just for podcasting. If you do want to try Riverside for free, I've dropped a link and my discount code in the description below. And if you like this video, you're going to love this video right here I made about a year ago on the number one golden rule that transformed my life. Spoiler, is podcasting and networking. You can click on the card on screen to watch that.